Richard Cottrell of Cottrell and Vimeo Linn Architecture Architects for the redevelopment and refurbishment of Broadway School. Uh, today we're doing uh, some workshops with uh, some of the children from the school. We've done, this is about the fourth workshop we've done. We're trying to integrate the students' work into our design proposals to make a school that can be owned and developed by the people that will eventually live and learn it. I'm Ben Chatfield from uh, graphic design company Bravo Charlie Mike Hotel and we're working on the wayfinding of signage for Broadway School and uh, one part of that is actually developing a palette of pictograms and images to help students find their way around the building. Have a walk around the school looking specifically at signage. That's a good point. Si scale, the scale of things is really important so that's a really good point. My name is Phil Champion from a firm called Fire. We're landscape architects and we've been involved in the BSF project looking at the external spaces on the school. Today the pupils are helping us designing some of those areas and adding to those areas. Well basically um, I made a game out of a, um, a tiger and you gotta shoot these frisbees into there. Today we are uh, working on some designs and ideas for the landscape part of the new Broadway school. That includes the uh, nature garden, seating, wall games, social learning zones which includes the shelters and the art garden. We've, we've been uh, working on colour this morning and experimenting with how to mix colours together. Uh, with a view to how we might use them for the acoustic panels. So, you know, when, you, when you're sort of like experimenting, you've got the sort of colour ranges and the stripes that you like. But this afternoon, what we're doing is we're working on patterns. Yeah, so we're thinking about how we might cut into the wooden cladding, uh, a, a design that, that's originated by the workshops here. I think, it's been, I think it's been a really successful day. The students have, uh, they've been drawing in different styles, so drawing with fine line, with pencil, drawing with colour, drawing with two colour only, drawing in one colour only but solid colour. So I've got them thinking about ways that they draw pictures, ways that they make images. But what you've done here is actually show that it's an object that's rattled so it has movement in it and that's communicated just with just a few simple marks that you've made. I think that's really, really, really successful. The pupils have been very enthusiastic. They've come up with loads of really useful ideas that we can hopefully incorporate into the external spaces. We've got a jelly bean seat, uh, we've got a display area for the art garden that the art teacher wants, we've got uh, pictures of famous artists, we've got seats with uh, snails on etc and we've got different planting. So they're, they're coming up with ideas. What they're doing now is actually trying to make some 3D models of their ideas. Quite a difficult concept but they're doing really really well. We've made like um, a roof but with a butterfly on top and it's going to have stripes and little chairs inside. Actually, this my bunch, my bunch have been fantastic. They have been absolutely brilliant. I've absolutely loved them. They've been really, really focused. Actually, I knew, you know, in a way, unusually, they've been so focused and quiet that, that you know, I've been worried that maybe I've not really been sort of like, you know, getting through. But in fact, they're just producing some fantastic work. Consultation can often be hoop jumping and about ticking boxes and sort of uh, lip service to uh, how you might engage with people. Whereas we want to create real situations where the children's work can be delivered and seen in the final, final building.